Greetings everybody, welcome back to the channel, I'm Godless Gamer, and you are watching episode 42 in my series, Rome Reborn, where I am recreating the Roman Empire in Crusader Kings 3. If this is the first video in my series that you are seeing, there is a link in the description that will take you to episode 1 and the beginning of the series. I highly recommend you check it out, it's a really good time, but we're going to continue. I want to get started now. I'm a little antsy to start this episode because I think we're going to get a lot of conquest this episode. I think I kind of say that a lot. I say that we're going to get a lot of conquest in an episode and sometimes we don't, but I'm really confident. I'm pretty sure we are going to get a decent amount of conquest, possibly the most conquest we've ever gotten in an episode. So let's do it. Let's. I'm, I have to prove myself right now. There's, there's no going back, so let's go. Alright, so you might be asking, why are you so sure that you're going to get a lot of conquest, God this Gamer? Why, why are you so confident? Well, I am pretty confident because currently we have almost one, two, three, four claims that we need in Bavaria. So that's going to be four counties we, we can capture. And a better thing is... Um, we, we have a three-year truce with the Byzantines, which isn't that long. So by the time we're done fighting Bavaria, we'll be able to fight the Byzantines again. So we're going to be able to fight two big enemies, and we're going to be able to get some claims really soon, really quickly. I do want to wait a little bit of time for my Realm Priest to get Karnten, and then hopefully... Um, uh, another claim in Nidlefeld, and then that'll give us two duchies. We'll be claiming two duchies from the, the Bavarians in one shot. We have a we have 17 domain limits, and I have a bunch of holdings. Uh, I have three up here in Bavaria. I've got four down here in Croatia and uh, Serbia. And then I've got mine over here, but I have land that I have set aside, and that I am prepared to to start giving away once the war is over so when the wars are over i have the lands that i know i'm going to be giving away they're set aside and we're good we might have to create a few duchy titles but we'll deal with that when we get to it but for now let's start how i normally start and we are going to check our council we're going to check all the realm stuff i'll check all my menus and then if everything's set up we are going to go to war Okay, so we're still going into main focus. We are re we are being exposed to knighthood, which is pretty good. Direct vassal opinion and knight effectiveness plus twenty percent, and we're also fascinated by heraldry, which will enable us to uh, enable us to uh, enact high partition. Which is the next best next best succession law. Then the best one is obviously primogeniture, which is what we have to work for. But that's in the late medieval area. Uh, yeah, late medieval area. Well, in the late medieval era as well. Uh, it's right here. Can enact primogeniture. So we're not quite there yet. We're not going to enter that era until twelve, the year twelve hundred at the minimum. So that's a hundred years. So we got to deal with other stuff in the meantime. We're gonna have to deal with high partition. Okay. We already know my realm priest is doing his thing. My chancellor is integrating a title. I forget which one. Okay, he's doing Romagna. It's gonna take seven years. That's not bad. That'll be another title, another duchy title in the du jour kingdom of Roma. Uh, you are promoting culture, sir. Oh, I think we're doing Crete. Yes. So once this guy's done promoting the culture in Crete, we will have the entire island of Crete as Rome. Unfortunately, my marshal is going to be spread a little thin as we start getting conquests. But 
what do I have him doing now? He's increasing in Venezia. We conquered Venezia last episode. And we got the Duchy. We have everything in the Duchy of Venice. And this will we'll be able to create the Kingdom of Venice title soon. Alright, so my council's good. I need a Master of the Hunt. Everybody else is okay. We don't have any prisoners. I did a bunch of marriages last episode, so we should be good on this, but I'm just going to double check very, very quickly. Yep, the, all these people are priests, so they don't need to be married. She's 88. How is she still kicking? He's a little old. I have a granddaughter. She's not 16 yet. My grandson has a year. I've, I've quite the, I've got quite the, uh, the big court here. Uh, what is this woman? She's just, she's just a courtier. She has no job. She has nothing. She's just taking up space. I don't really like her personality. She's rakish. Uh, she's reclusive. She's very sinful. Let's ask her to take the vows. She's not doing anything for me. She's not going to be a good... She has good intrigue, don't get me wrong, but she's single, so she doesn't have a husband, and I don't like her personality. Zealous is okay, but she's a very zealous sinner, apparently. Alright, everybody's married. We're going to press play... We're going to press play, let our fabric claim fabrication finish. We'll grab the next one, and then we'll go to war. So, just over two years, that's not too long. This guy's creating a faction against me while swaying. That's done. All right, so let's quickly grab Nittlefeld. It's gonna take two years, but that's not that's not bad. That's not horrible. It's not right next. It's not adjacent to our realm, or it's not adjacent to a border of our realm. So it's obviously gonna take a little bit longer. But if I get it, that's two. That's two duchies we'll be claiming from Bavaria in the war, and that's better than we've done before. Take the knee and give me your money. We're going to continue going down to get Avaricious. It's still up in the air whether we'll get there in time. Our ruler is feeling fine. He's not ailing or anything, so he might live to be pretty pretty old. I think he still has like a decade in him. And my line of succession is secure. Look at, ever look at all that. This son is just going to inherit so much. His wife is still young, and they they already have a son, so so far so good. She's only 23 or 24. 24. So she still has 22 years left to have kids because the cutoff is 46. All right, my grandson can marry. I don't like these two personality traits. Let's ask him. Let's get him to take the vows. I already married three of his grandson or my grandsons off. That will help with our Pope opinion and our Realm Priest opinion.
So we married three of our grandsons. One can take the vows. And we still have a granddaughter that we can marry in the future. Alright, it's just going to be about waiting for this claim, everybody. Let our army get up to full strength. In the meantime, we have 36,000 men. Seven legions. I'm going to host a feast, get my stress down, and improve some opinions. My chancellor becomes my friend? I could have sworn he already was my friend. I guess not. Or maybe he was and I wasn't paying attention. I don't know. Alright, whatever. We got a friend. And I gained the eager reveler trait. And we're almost to living legend, which will give us another knight. My wife is doing her thing, thank you. That faction disbanded. Look at all all these people who can't join factions. Everybody who's my friend, friends cannot join factions. This is great about great about it. Alright, uh, I forgot to mention, I also hold these. I also hold Venice. Right, I'm, I might have mentioned it, but... We have a lot of things that we can give away. Is the point. We'll have four duchies that we hold, personally, that we can give away. I'm probably gonna give away Venice first. Or maybe I'll give away Dalmatia next. Keep trying to find secrets. While we're letting the clock run, let me check everybody's contract. Make sure everybody has force partition and who I need to get force partition into. Alright, so the Duke of Verona is still gotten out of force partition. The Duke of Piedmont. Or he's a theocracy, he has no contract. Uh, the Duke of Provence. The Duke of Amelia. The Duke of Istria. Alright, so there's quite a few. All right, the rest are counts. So what was that? That was like five? I think that was like five dukes. All right, my son is being accused of things. Wow, just a nice big gold influx right there. I'm All right, finally, I'm not a rival with the, uh, the Emperor of the Byzantines anymore. Checking religions really quick. Yeah. I just gained a rival again? Are you serious? Did that just happen? Alright, we're a little more than halfway onto our claim. 
one, two, three, four, five counties all in once. And that will complete the northern part of uh, Illyricum. Like this northern part before it starts going down into the Balkans. Wow, all these secrets being exposed. All right, this also um, reminds me. I, I I know how I ha uh, re see how I have all the major islands of the Mediterranean, but there's still one that's gotten away from us. Well, we have a unique opportunity. We can ha declare war against this Mar Marjid uh, Empire for anything because it's a holy war. We can grab part of Cyprus. Because this would be an easy war. He has no allies. He only has 16,000 men. Whereas we have this amount. We have we have a hun almost 100 times his gold amount. So we can fight them. And we can start grabbing Cyprus. And since I'm going to be losing the Mediterranean conquest. Cast his belly in 1113. I'm running out of time to do this. So let's. Or maybe one of our next wars can be against uh, the Byzantines. And we can grab this. All right, let's go. All right, cool. The Muslims are doing their thing. Um, not really crazy about her congenital traits. They're okay. But let's marry matrilineally for traits. Let's see if we can bring in the intelligent trait. I like this guy's personality. He's genius. It's not being wasted on her. Like, it's not like, oh, you're just giving this random person in your family a genius person. I am, but... I mean, the next person that I'm gonna marry, this is... I might as well grab him while I can. My line of succession is... All, everybody's married in my line. I already married my son. To a woman with Amazonian. So I'm happy with that marriage. Let's bring genius into this. He has a good personality and really good skills. We'll be, we'll be bringing all of this in. All right. Our gold income is going up steadily. The last time I looked, I think it was like 155 a month, and now we're making 163 a month. Our army's at full strength, 37,000 men. And increasing. Um. Oh wow, West Francia just... West Francia used to be huge. West Francia fragmented a bit. It split up into two kingdoms. Yeah, the last the 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 king of what? Okay, so we need to arrange another. Um, oh no, we're already allies with them. We're already allies with them. Okay. Who are they fighting again? All right, he needs my help. All of these counts declared war against him. Really? All right, I'm going to accept. They just dragged us into a war here. All 
All right, I'm thinking because now if I raise my armies to go help him, I do want to help West Francia. They're a powerful ally. All right, we'll just keep grabbing claims. Let's go to war. Let's try to help them out. Let's try to help out West Francia. And in the meantime, this might be a long war, but in the meantime, we can keep getting claims. We can just sail all the way up there, just maybe just capture a couple of counties, maybe three counties, win a battle or two, and then we can win. Almost avaricious. All right, let's just keep our eyes focused on the war. Almost a living legend, almost there. 222 prestige. I'd call this hunt to get it, but I don't want to use call hunt unless I have some stress that I can work off. It looks like my ally is winning the battle or the winning the war so far. All right, I've already betrothed my daughter, so she, what did she get? Insightful thinker. Okay. Two more years and she'll be married to the current king of West Francia, and then we'll get a renown boost from it. We're almost glo we're almost glorious level of splendor. Alright, here we come. Enough of these children playing around at war. Let's show them how it's done. We're going to bury the hatchet. We're going to bury the hatchet, and then five seconds later, we're going to become rivals again. I'm gonna, I always... I normally uh, do this one. Make the church give him some stuff. And the last claim that we needed in Bavaria. So we can go to war with them anytime we want. I'm just going to double check uh, Illyricum. Alright, so we need all of Slavonia. We need... Alright, so we need the Bosnias. We need Slavonia. Alright, we'll get this, I guess. That'll be three counties in Slavonia. We can even grab, if I want to, we can even grab three counties down here while we're getting these. It's gonna be, this is gonna be such a long war. It'll be an interesting war, but we'll get a lot of, we'll get a lot of land in one grab, which is... Ideally, what we want to kind of start doing now is not declaring wars um, on single places. We want to start grabbing large amounts to make every war worth it. Alright, next victim. I'll keep this ghost in my prison.
Casper. All right, my ally lost a battle. My nephew had a daughter, not very impressive with her skills, but at least she got the better of the congenital uh, lines. All right, port event. Let's see. What... All right, who wants a job? You want a job? You getting the owner of a falcon? Cool. The hunt activity costs slightly less gold. The prestige, one a month. Vassal opinion plus five. This character owns a, a peregrine falcon, a prestigious bird of prey used for hunting and showing off. And I lose stress because of it. I have to pay 450 gold, but that's a drop in the bucket. Sure, we got a falcon. Can we name it? I guess not. All right, it's not like a it's not like a dog or a cat that you can name, I guess. All right, guys, we have a dynasty legacy, a new one. Monthly learning lifestyle. Development growth. Those would be nice to get. I think the Roman culture gets spe its own special heavy infantry unit, but getting more men at arm regiments would be nice. We can start going down the House of Warriors. Knight effectiveness, prowess plus two. Let me just double check. Cultural fascination, progress plus 15. Uh, it's kind of a little late in the game to be boosting my cultural fascination progress. I'm pretty far into the innovations, so this would just be helping me too late. It would be nice to get earlier, but not now. I'm going to go down House of Warriors. We are Romans, so we need to be warriors. Mostly everyone is very happy with me now, even my powerful vassals. Alright, that 88 year old woman finally died and she was my tutor. We need a new tutor. My niece? Okay. She is a genius. She's got pretty good learning. Give her a job. Vigilant for five years. Uh. Alright, we are now living legends. Alright. Uh, she recommends drastic measures for my gout, but I am willing to bet that I'm going to lose something. I'm going to either lose an arm or lose a leg. She's going to cut something off. But let's see. So she cut off my leg. Greatly reduced disease system, disease symptoms for five years. I gained one-legged and I gained wounded. We're still feeling fine, so. All right, so we still have gout rinse, so it didn't even get rid of my gout. <laughs> so we just cut my leg off for no reason. All right, whatever. 
If this guy dies, I'm not too disturbed about it. I'm gonna lose his really good domain uh, limit if he dies, but it's fine. Let's try to win. Let's try to win the Bavarian War before this guy dies. boost in my renown. I have another king by marriage. I have an emperor by marriage. Who? Oh, this woman's in my dynasty, so I have an emperor by marriage. Cool. We're getting a lot of boosts here. All right, it looks like we're going to win this war for our ally. The enemy is just running around like chickens with their heads cut off while we just take all of their homes from them. Alright, my priest is almost done. These are part of Lower Bosnia. Or Upper Bosnia. Sorry, they flip it. It's weird. Alright, now it's Upper Bosnia. Alright. <laughs> so, um, uh, we need this for Ilaricum, so let's start getting some there. We can get fast claims on all, uh, on all three of these counties. One, two, three. Because they border our realm. So let's just keep going. We have to take advantage of all of these claims while we're alive. All my powerful vassals like me for the most part, even the ones that aren't on the council. And their stewardship isn't amazing. Hers is okay. 14 isn't horrible, but 24 is better. He finished complete, uh, promoting our culture in Crete. Now where? He's not my friend, so it's going to take a little while. But we can change that. Six years in Mallorca. Let's get some Roman in here. Let's get some Roman in the Balkans. Let's get Ragusa. We've had Ragusa a really long time, so let's do that. And in the meantime, I'll befriend my steward. I can choose, uh, change this kid's contract. He does not have forced partition. Yeah. That was handy. Wow, they're hitting their shields in sync. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah, I like how they're blue and we're we're red and yellow, and they're blue and yellow. All right, I have a decent amount of stress. Let's call a hunt. My sister died. All right, Duke, Duke Flavianus is terrified of me and loves me. So I can afford to lose a little bit of opinion of him. I will gain a diplomacy point for five years.
Somebody's trying to kill my giant brother. Good luck. Good luck with that. Alright, I think we're going to get to Avaricious. Alright, hopefully when our ally gets this and we get this, that's the end of the, the war. We're going to have to let our armies recharge a little bit, but we didn't lose too many. Alright, so see, dude, just die already. You're 68 and you have so many issues. Just die. I'm sick of this. I'm sick of this. Leave me alone, man. My artificer gained an inspiration. He wants to weave me something glorious. Weave inspirations are based on diplomacy. He has eight. No. No, thank you. Alright, this is the end of the war. We'll be able to disband once they accept terms. If they accept terms, come on, guys. Let's go. There we go. All right, so West Francia maintains its co uh, cohesion, cohesion a little bit. They're still the strongest of these three powers, so... Or of the two powers, Lotharingia is over here, too. Aquitaine is what's gone now. I'm going to throw her in jail. Can I execute her for free? No, it's an act of tyranny, apparently. I can banish her. I'm going to just get out. Just get out. Give me money. He's an evil coward. No. Alright, now we have to let our armies charge up a bit. We're now we're up to 40,000 men. Eight legions. I don't want to start a feud with you. Oh, this is the Duke of Piedmont. Yes, we needed to get... Force partition into his contract. And 60% chance. He's brave. Alright, well, let's see what your bravery is worth. Yeah, it ain't worth nothing. Your bravery ain't worth nothing. Force partition. Sit down. Alright, once our armies recharge, Bavaria. And you know what? I think I want to declare war for all of this. Because I can. And it's all part of Illyricum, so I can. Maybe by the time our armies are recharged, I'll be able to grab this, too. 
I'm gonna have a lot of land to give away, guys. After this war is over, a long war and then a long, tedious process of giving away lands. Nice. Alright, I'll go to a feast, I wouldn't mind it. Was I not Was I not befriending my steward? Oh no, I am. I'm still doing it. become friends with him. I wouldn't mind a hook on him, but we're not going to get one. He's another one that I need to get. His contract change. Alright, so there we go. There's that. Alright, I need these two counties to finish Zaklumia. So let's grab these. I could not care less. I like that response. All right, we're just gonna make another friend. What is that like? Friend number ten? Oh, now, now friend number eleven. We just became friends with two people right, right next to each other. Eight friends now. I'm noticing some kids need to be educated while we wait. I will do that. Branson wants to be just. Perfect. She wants to be a marshal. Let's do stewardship. She could be my ward. I'm not... I'm, I'm fine. That's fine. My great-granddaughter. She wants learning. Courtier. She has a congenital trade, so let's make sure she gets educated, right? She could be learning, too. Lost the trait wounded. That's good. Two more. Another congenital trait. She wants to be a diplomat? Sure. Mix it up a bit. Um, I keep forgetting that... I keep forgetting to do this. This is what I need to do. Is she Roman? She No, she's not Roman. So what I need to do... I need to start doing this more and start paying attention more. I'm going to remove her guardian, and I'm going to do this. I'm going to give her the same guy, but I'm going to have him convert. She will become Roman. Keep forgetting to do that. there. I think that's all the uh, the kids. 
Did I teach all these kids? No. Let's get another learning. We got just we just got two diplomacy, so. domains we have so many to 17 and if we get to avaricious we're gonna get plus two more stewardship so we might get to 18 domains which is not gonna be sustainable for my son i have 40 stewardship he only has 24 which isn't bad 24 is good for his age just hopefully he's going down the right he's going down the right uh stewardship to, uh lifestyle tree all right we're almost to full strength guys i'll let it get to forty thousand or something he only has an ally in his realm he's a he's the ally of a count in his own realm so not going to be hard to beat him All right, guys, I think that's enough. At least our men-at-arms are at full strength. So, levies, if we just keep getting more levies, it's okay. Let's go to war, guys. We're gonna grab all of our claims. I said there was gonna be a lot of conquest, so let's do it. One, two... Nice, we got another claim. My realm priest is working overtime. Alright. We're gonna put the flag where? I wanna grab these two. Or maybe we'll grab these. We'll grab these three. They're right here. If they try to do some sneaky stuff and try to conquer these two, it's okay. Let's go to war. All right, let's... No, thanks. Okay, let's... Okay, let's listen to some grovelers before we get in... Before we get into the war. As opposed to after war. Here's my peg leg. Oh my god, my peg leg is clipping through my is clipping through my outfit. Uh, sir, do you, are you aware that your leg is clipping through your outfit? No, I don't know what you're talking about. Let's bring in the grovelers. Let's pretend we're not seeing that. I'll never forget a face. 300 diplomacy lifestyle, 100%. I'll just give him some just give him some cash. That's easy. Make them fight. Alright, that was quick. War. And we'll get these three war targets very quickly. And then we can go this way if we want. We can go uh, west. Or if we have to, we'll have to retreat back this way and come up this way. We got Avaricious. Are we going to get another Domain? Let's see. Well, besides getting Domain, what else do we get? Holding Taxes plus 15%. We didn't get another Domain. But we can switch out of Stewardship. Let's do something else.
let's give ourselves a little health, small health boost. Um, because now that I'm, I'm still gout ridden, right? Yeah, I'm still gout ridden. So let's improve our health a little bit. We still are feeling fine. And our domains went down. Our domain limit went down because we switched. Really? Alright, we're going to give away the, the Duchy of Crane here. We have to. And since we're going to be giving away Dalmatia next, I'll create this. And I'm going to give away... Give away the Duchy Capital first to the best person. Wow, he's 29 entry. All right, none of these people have good personalities. Come on. Trusting is okay, but he's too old. Ooh, there we go. His stewardship is okay. He's got Roman. He's got content. He's going to be a duke. He's young. He still has time to get married. Or he is betrothed. All right, successful. The, Bavarian, the Bavarians aren't just fighting us, are they? They're fighting these guys too. We lost our Master of Horse, let's change that. His siege ends in eight months. Ours is in 20 days. So we'll go get him off our castle. We'll go this way, though. No, not that way. This way, sir. My future heir wants to be patient? No, diligent. You want to be diligent. There we go. Wow, my grandson's turning out pretty good. Good congenital traits, and he's getting good personality traits. Scandal. It's so scandalous that I don't even care about it. I got a secret on this duke, but he's he controls a theocracy. See? Uh, Prince Archip Archbishopric of Romania, it's a theocracy, so he has no vassal contract. I'll look the other way, don't care. All right, we are pretty close to an hour, about six minutes off from an hour, but I, we will end this war, even if we go over. I promised conquest, and that's what I'm going to give you guys. And getting, like, two and a half, three duchies at once is nothing to... Nothing to shake it. Down. Nothing to, to just dismiss easily. We got a, that's a lot of money. All right, they're just attacking me piecemeal and just getting murdered. That's another claim on the Byzantines. That's all of Zaklumia uh, claimed. 
Let's grab the rest of Upper Bosnia. Wow, a lot of people are pensive. A lot of children want to be either learning or... Let's do learning. Learning is always a safe education. Okay. Yeah, they're dealing with peasant revolts now too, I think. Wow, my bodyguard is trying to kill somebody. Probably won't be good to... Yeah, just let him go. I want him to stay as my bodyguard. I don't want to piss off my bodyguard. Bodyguards are powerful agents. Wow. Here it is. Yeah, powerful agent in hostile schemes against you. So let's be best to make them happy. He is my friend. And I'd like to keep it that way. Alright, let's go fight him again. We're trying to take back one of the war targets. Our men are our men are taking attrition because we have low supplies, but it's okay. We should win this bat we should win this war before supplies start to make a big difference. And we'll definitely get there. We'll definitely get there in time to stop the siege. They'll probably start running the second they see us. Or they'll they'll abandon... Oh, no, there they go. But I'm going to catch one of them and then they'll all come back. Wow, I made a friend with my future uh, grandson. And he got plus one diplomacy. Pedagogy at work. Secrets it never stops. All right, let's get the next war target. It's right here. It might win us. Win us the, the war. We're accumulating a lot of prisoners. Oh, I did capture the air. I hope that's not him. All right, no, it's not. All right, don't ransom the air. Okay. We'll deal with the prisoners after the war's over. My level of splendor went up. We are now glorious. I can't modify his contract, so I'll take the money. Four months, 30 days. And I think just winning this siege and then winning this battle, they keep coming closer to me. Are they just going to suicide against me? Okay. Well, thank you for your poem, sir. 
All right. That's another claim. All right, win this battle, we win. My wife died. Oh! This is like my second wife to die, and it she I took critical stress. Host a feast. Let's feast our wife dying, and then let's marry somebody else. Good stewardship. 54. Potential alliance with somebody who's in my kingdom. Or, yeah, she's 54. Okay, sure. She's not going to have kids, so I don't care. I just want her stewardship. That's all I want. My wife is dead. Now let's celebrate and hold us to feast. While I marry another one. She got me up to 17 now. <laughs> this woman's been my wife for 10 seconds and she's already getting it. She's already a part of this. She was planning the feast before we got married. <laughs> That's funny. Looks like we need another, or no, another battle win. Hopefully this ends it. Wow, all of my, whenever I'm teaching somebody, whenever I'm somebody's guardian, they want to be just, which is awesome. All right, please end this. It probably won't, of course. Wow, we didn't get any progress because of that. We are starting to ail now. We are ailing. fight these guys. I'll leave a sieging force. And we'll go get them. Long war, but worth it. The terrain we've been fighting and it's just been mountains and hills and everything. Like, this whole area. Alright, I lost an antiquarian. as well. My grandson wants to be wrathful. Stubborn or brave. Brave helps with martial attraction and all this vassal opinion, not bad. But I wouldn't mind getting having him get stubborn. Disease resistance and stewardship. He's gonna lose some opinion of his people, but we don't care. We want stewardship. He's got 19 stewardship now. Wow. Fine. They're going to make me get another... They're going to make me capture another county. Oh, 
Alright, alright. I like how this woman's outfit is she's wearing rags and then she just has a hood. <laughs> Alright, she's unlanded and doesn't have anything. She's trying to kill my wife. Throw her in jail. Can't execute her. I don't have an executioner. Let's employ her as an executioner. She has no choice but to accept. Alright, so yeah, we are going to end this war, and that's where I'm going to end it. We're just going to end the war, and I'll get all my lands. And I think next episode is how I'm going to divvy it all up, and I'll divide it all. And I'll give away all the titles and stuff in the next episode. I don't need him. I like his personality, kind of, but... I'm, I'm set. I have enough courtiers. I don't need any more. Just don't need him. All right, our Mediterranean conquest cast belly is going to expire soon. Two years. All right, let's go fight him again. I'll take the stress relief. Alright. Finally, this will end it. An alliance expired with a count? Okay, I don't care. bodyguard died. Alright, that's the end of the war. Enforced demands. That is a nice, decent little chunk captured. How much more of a lyricum? Alright, so we've got most of... We've got more than half of a lyricum. Now it's just gonna be these few more counties from the Bavarians, and then the rest of this from the Byzantines. And then once we get all of this land from the Byzantines, the Byzantines are pretty strong, kind of. But they're focusing on eastern expansion but it should weaken them a bit they only have 33,000 soldiers whereas at full strength we have 46,000 soldiers so we have nine legions worth at full strength or no seven nine okay i was right the first time nine we have nine legions worth at full strength uh, disband all and then before i do anything else i see that we're over our domain limit and all of that but we will take care of that in the next episode we will take care of getting rid of uh, all of these holdings that i don't want we will take care of all of that good stuff but for now we're looking good we got a nice big chunk out of bavaria and we're starting to look fat our realm is starting to look fat in in europe starting to look good all right guys i am going to end it here thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed the big chunk of conquest that we got the war was a little tedious but you know sometimes wars are going to be tedious but i like how we're progressing i think we're doing really well but 
we will continue in the next episode, which I will try to get out as soon as possible. Um, don't forget to like and uh, leave a comment or two if you if you uh, are enjoying this enjoying the series so far, and because that really helps the channel. But until the next episode, guys, have a good one.